gonna make the Tarta de Santiago. This is a Spanish almond cake that is very famous in Santiago, Spain, and its signature look is that it has a stencil of the St. James Cross right on top of the cake. It's kind of a tradition as you walk the pilgrimage or maybe you just arrive at Santiago, but to try this delicious, easy to make almond cake. Several years ago, we had the pleasure of walking the 500 mile journey from France to Spain. We ended up 33 days later in Santiago and just had to have a piece of this cake to celebrate our accomplishment. So I highly encourage you not only to go to Spain and try the Camino yourself, many different ways to do it. And I also highly recommend you try this cake because you're really going to enjoy it. So let's get baking. Very few ingredients in this cake. So the main ingredient are the almonds, of course. So you want to use Marcona almonds. We're going to toast them first, lightly just toast them in the oven at 350 for like seven minutes, eight minutes, something like that. Then we're gonna grind them up in the food processor to make little small pieces. We also need some sugar. So we have a cup and a quarter of sugar. We're gonna need the zest of a lemon. Um, so just like a couple teaspoons of that. I'm adding a teaspoon of cinnamon. And we're gonna add about four drops or a teaspoonful of almond extract. Just to even give it a little more almond flavor. And if I could juggle, I juggled the eggs, but we're gonna use six eggs and we're gonna separate them. So we're just gonna try to bring a little more lightness to the cake, adding the egg whites in, in a bit. Okay, so let's get started. our cake is in the oven baking at 350 for about 40 minutes but you want to keep testing it to make sure that you don't over bake it so you'll get a toothpick and stick it right into the center and if crumbs stick to it then it's not quite done so when you have the toothpick test stick it in bring it out and crumbs don't stick to the toothpick then you know it is time to pull it out of the oven okay so meanwhile while this is baking we want to make sure we have our stencil ready for the top. Okay, so there are some PDFs that you can find online, and I'll put a link on my website where you can find a PDF. Printed two different versions off, you can see two different sizes. So depending on the size of your pan, that is the size you want to use. Okay, so you just print it out and then cut around this. That's going to become stencil but just cut right along the edge and then we place that on top of the cake and then sprinkle powdered sugar over the top okay so let's print out your stencil so I just kind of bat this you can also use like a just any strainer uh, to sift your powdered sugar, but just so it gets a nice little coating on top. Pick this up as carefully as you can because you don't want it 
to spring back and just shake all of this powdered sugar onto the part that you've carefully avoided hitting. Okay, so there is our Cross of St. James stenciled onto our cake. Doesn't that look beautiful?